Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to our Bitcoin update. So we've seen Bitcoin trying to move up. $22,000 is uh, where we're trading currently at the moment. So today I'm just willing to do this updates on the phone, by the way. I find the phone to be a little bit important as well so that people can be familiar with how to use the phone for trading because I personally use the phone way too many times uh, in between the days when I'm moving outside, when I'm but I'm just doing nothing because it's not easy to carry the laptop with you all the time. So you need a trading view on the go. So I think it's a pretty good idea that we do uh, the phone analysis at some different time. So here we go. All right. So Bitcoin, what, what I'm looking for is um, Bitcoin right now on the daily time frame, potentially trying to make uh, a shooting star. So this is one little bit of a shooting star that is happening right over there. And this shooting star can lead Bitcoin to try to move a little bit lower. So to me personally, the best thing about what Bitcoin did is the following. So you, if you go into the weekly time frame, we've seen Bitcoin making this very, very good statement right over here. So if you look at that one huge candle right here, this is a bullish hammer. And if we go to Google, just down one for you. And this is where I see Bitcoin making. So you can see the yellow highlighted thing right there is a bullish hammer it can be red it can be uh you know green as well the, the same uh, the, the shape should be same because they have this very tiny small body in the middle a small wick to the to the upside and a long wick to the downside which just makes it perfect hammer just like normal hammer are so that was pretty uh cool to see but for me personally um it's hard to say if bitcoin wants to go up or even go down at this point of time, this is where the, the bears can actually have a reason to go down. And this is the point where the bulls can have a reason to push the prices to the upside. And um, it's a breaking point, actually, to be honest. It's really, really a breaking point. But one more thing I saw and noticed on the weekly time frame is that if you look at this weekly time frame at the moment, we're looking at Bitcoin basically closing above the 10 and, and, and the 20 EMA, and it's probably for the first time ever since um, May 2022, right? So almost after nine months, we have Bitcoin for the very first time making uh, two successful closing above the 10 EMA on the weekly time frame, actually. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. And all you did is yesterday you're trying to go down and down and down and try to make that three black crows, but you didn't end up making any three black crows. And then from there, what you decided to do is you very quickly push the prices to the upside and you make a hammer closing. Now, on my private channel, we did take advantage of that pump because we were trading USTC and USTC had a falling wedge and a bullish divergence. And we entered earlier and when we couldn't pump, we actually got the pump as well. So that's uh, what we did. Now, if you look at Bitcoin on this weekly time frame, again, it remains the falling wedge does remain out, out there. So I'm just going to bring in, uh, you know, this falling wedge and show you. So all you're doing is uh, moving up, coming down, moving up, coming down. All this falling wedge, you could potentially just try to break the wedge, which you're still not doing. Now, one more thing I want to talk about is probably the SPX. So let's talk about the SPX. Now, if you look at the SPX here, you have a descending broadening wedge for the SPX, right? Where you had um, this one resistance, by the way, uh, second one resistance, second resistance, third one, support down, support, support. You're breaking up like this. So what I want to do is dive in into uh, the, the daily time frame so that I can show you one more thing. And that is if I go down to the daily, is this one right you are breaking of course if you zoom out you can see it's a whole descending broadening wedge that you broke out of and if i zoom in right here you're just basically at that support level so this is what i want to tell you if we end up making a successful retest and bounce from here that means that the bull run resumes okay and if we end up making this as a fake out and when you go for the retest, you get rejected and go down, you have a very massive bull trap. Either way, you can say that you're at the, you're at the point of a, of a bear trap or at the bull trap. Whatever happens, be careful. That's pretty much it for this update on Bitcoin right now. I'm gonna, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Hello, office.